I'm so happy right now. This is great news. Now, this is going to come later, but uh, I'm speaking to you guys when uh, they just announced that officially now uh, the government of Canada is going to allow the Raptors to play at their home stadium. And there's not going to be any border restrictions to where the players can now travel to and from Toronto. And it's going to be amazing. <laughs> guys, I don't think you understand how much of a big deal this is. And especially, you know, if you haven't followed the Raptors season, them playing in Tampa Bay was a big deal. Uh, because it really uh, set the franchise back a couple of years. And honestly, um, I really do think that if the Raptors had played at home, uh, that it would have been a much better experience and the season would have panned out much better than it has than it had last year. Now, I'm not saying that the Raptors don't have anything to work on. They certainly do. They're not as good as they used to be. And for sure, they have to prove themselves. They have to prove themselves again so that people can take them seriously, like they did in past seasons. And the Raptors are young, and Cal Lowry's gone, and that's gonna hurt them. Uh, that's a big loss. And what the Raptors have, I think, in my opinion, is an opportunity to uh, hit gold and really spark something with this young core. You have Old Gen and Obi now having more room to grow because now. He will have more opportunities to flourish. Siakam now is the main guy. He has now this opportunity to really stamp his feet in this team and show everybody else how good he is. Okay, then the rest of the guys, Van Vliet, oh, he's going to be solid as a starting point guard. This is going to be a great experience for them. And I'm pretty sure a Kyle Lowry leaving, although it hurts, it will help them in the long run because now there's more room for them to have opportunities to play, have opportunities to score, and even the guys on the bench now are going to benefit from that. And another thing that uh, also affected everybody else in the NBA last year was the shortened season and how many games they had to play. Uh, the NBA clearly prioritized uh, money over health of the players, uh, making them play two months after the finals ended in October and it's really sad because, you know, these guys, you know, deserve to rest. They deserve to have their time off and they deserve to not have to work their body off this much. And last season, you could see how it affected people. And there was a lot of injuries. There was a lot of time missed. And that also contributed to the Raptors' struggles during, you know, their season in Tampa. And of course, I really do think that... Playing in Tampa Bay was not a good idea. It was not the right move. And unfortunately, you know, the government of Canada did not want uh, players to travel to and from Toronto. They didn't want other players to come in Toronto. And it was COVID. I understand that. But it really set the franchise back. It really sucked. And having played no home games last season really did affect them. Now people are saying, oh, no, they're just not a good team. Did you? If you've seen the crowd in Tampa... Um, it really does show you that Tampa Bay does not deserve a basketball team anytime soon. I hope, I hope Tampa Bay never gets a basketball team. They suck as a fan base. They, they don't even know what they're doing half the time. They're just standing around on their phones, little dawdling. There is no crowd chant. There was no crowd cheering. Okay, and Florida was wide open during this time. They weren't phased by COVID at all. And they were just, the people that were there weren't even cheering at all it was so weird man it, it didn't even feel like a home game it felt like the raptors were away every game that they played and now they're gonna come back here in canada and now there's going to be crowd full again oh my goodness i can't wait i can't wait man <laughs> toronto we back baby <laughs>